little bit longer to make sure the heat wasn't as high. All right, everybody, we're going to do a live one real quick. I'm here with Glenn Chandler, and he is going to eat. I eat the big one. It's got the most stuff in it. No, what I'm saying is it's got more bacon on it. It's They're all the same size. I just put a lot of bacon. It's got a lot of bacon. Whichever one, but the small one, I'd be cautious with that one. Yeah, that one, that's nothing but sour or cream cheese and what? I loaded it with cream cheese. Whatever one you want, they're both the same. Watch out. Kitty, no, Kitty's going to love it. Those are actually really good. Maybe I should have had you get something to drink first, but you're fine. Make sure there's not two things in it. They might still be hot. I just took them out of the oven. Well, sorry. Just took it out of the oven. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think it was still that hot, but it's a, it is bacon and bacon grease. <laughs> Tell me when you start tasting the... Uh, are you tasting the pepper? I can taste the heat now. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Pudding cup. You want to get rid of the heat fast? Pudding cup. I'm okay, but... I got a pudding cup. You want a pudding cup? No, pudding cup will get rid of the heat in a heartbeat. I just don't yet. I would be in pure hell if I did. No, you wouldn't be. No. They're not that bad. I mean, it's a good flavor heat, though. That's for sure. It starts building on you if you're not careful. But actually, when you eat it and it goes in, it's actually really good. That's what I'm saying. All the cream cheese is inside. Did you not watch me make these? Ah, we'll get one cheese that comes out. Oops. 